tonight, this year, uh, and, and they're just two examples of, of all of the heroes that are represented on, on the tree and that the tree celebrates. So the first story is one of one about legacy, uh, and it's, 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 there's a tree on the, um, there's a building on the tree that's in memory of Sam Pilling and his nephew James Smith, who are uh, out to sea setting their traps on Duncan Day on November 30th, 1964. And they were born with Jane and Judy, uh, and it was on their maiden voyage when the high winds caused the vessel and her crew to go down. And the conditions made the rescue efforts by the local fishermen really difficult, um, and unfortunately, uh, very, uh, it was unsuccessful. So, the tragedy brought concerned residents from Southwest Nova together, and uh, they made an appeal for the need for a Coast Guard vessel to be stationed in Cox Harbor. And in, on October 5th, 1966, the women arrived arrive in Cox Harbor, and it's, uh, it's been there ever since, and it was immediately put to work to help reduce the tragic loss of life in the city of Scotia. The second story is one about uh, brave, bravery or heroism, and it's, it, it relates to the Halifax explosion. And this one's about Captain Horatio Brennan, who was born in Woods Harbor. I worked on the scene from a very young age, and he first started off in, in the fishing and salvaging industry, but then he became a naval captain. And uh, Captain Brendan was at the helm of the tugboat Stella Morris uh, as he and his crew valiantly attempted to put out the flames that were caused by the SS Imo and the SS Leblanc in the Halifax Harbor. And Captain Brendan unfortunately uh, passed away and perished that day along with 2,000 others in the largest man made non nuclear explosion in history. So those are just two quick stories uh, about uh, some of, the, of those that, that uh, the Indians represent. And if you have some time today or in, in the next few weeks to go and, and read some, some of the buoys and traps, it's, it's really interesting. 
So now we're going to hear from, from two of our elected local elected officials. Uh, I'd like to first invite Warden Eddie Nicholson to come forward to say a few words on behalf of the municipality of Brampton. Good evening, everyone, and I'd like to welcome you here tonight. Uh, it's been uh, two plus years before we had an opportunity to uh, get out and uh, light the tree. Pretty, pretty lonely here the past couple of years. We, we come out and uh, record two of the three of us. I think uh, Joel, the, 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 the uh, staff member from the hotel, who came out and uh, video rolling and all. So it's great to see everybody out here. I uh, certainly would uh, like to thank the municipal staff for taking the time and putting up the tree. They did a, a wonderful job of it this year. Uh, it wouldn't go without, I can't go without saying that uh, lobster season is up on us, and so I would like to uh, wish all the lobster fishermen and fishermen a, uh, a good, safe, and prosperous season. And uh, certainly thank you guys for coming out tonight and enjoying the Christmas season. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. <laughs> All right, thanks, Eddie. Um, I'd now like to invite our MLA Nolan Young to the microphone to bring greetings from the province of Nova Scotia. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to turn out this is. This is absolutely awesome. Um, you know, first and foremost, I'd like to say uh, the, the, uh, the fishery is absolutely the backbone of uh, Nova Scotia. $2.5 billion alone last year. And so with Nova, one and three jobs here tonight, so I'm happy to be here today. Uh, I'd like to thank all the organizers for putting this together. I'd like to wish all the lobster fishermen and fisherwomen a very safe and prosperous season. And on behalf of the province, of the world, I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a uh, Happy New Year. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much, Nolan. Um, so it's almost time for the moment that everybody has been waiting for, but before we get to that, I need to acknowledge a very special guest that we have here tonight, and some of you have probably already seen him or taken pictures. Can everyone join me in giving a warm welcome to one and only Santa Claus! Okay, Santa. So, now that Santa's here, we're ready to light the tree. I'd like to ask Eddie and Nolan and Santa Claus to join the Barrington Exhibition Pageant Queens down to the big magic switch over there. You want to make your way over there? So while they make their way over to the magic switch, What we're going to do, we're going to have a countdown when, they, when, they, when they're ready. Are we all set? Can I get a thumbs up? Are we all set? All right. So, here we go. We're going to do a countdown from 10. Is everybody ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. edition of the Lobster Traps Christmas tree all lit up. As you can imagine, the tree and this event doesn't happen overnight. There's a lot of planning and organizing and building that goes on um, to the days and weeks in advance of it. So I'd like to thank a few people, a few groups uh, before we keep going. So first, let's go to the tree. Thank you very, very much. Obviously, we're happy when we get built otherwise. I think my hands froze to the camera. No, oh, my hands, this my hair's cold. These pockets, hey, can you get warm in this hair stuff? It's like slick. <laughs> 